Hey guys, JJ here, and the wait is finally over. The Resident Evil 2 Remake Collector's Edition has finally been revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, and it looks fantastic. Today, I want to cover everything included in the Collector's Edition, along with all the details you need to know. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Resident Evil 2 with San Diego Comic-Con currently underway, Resident Evil fans waited eagerly to see what new surprises Capcom had in store for the Resident Evil 2 remake, and once again, Capcom delivered. The Collector's Edition was revealed as a GameStop exclusive, which you can now pre-order for the price of $200. The product details from the official GameStop website read, The Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition is the ultimate Resident Evil 2 experience and is designed as a reproduction of the familiar item boxes that show up throughout Raccoon City. Much like the item boxes in-game, it houses a variety of rare goods that any RE fan would love to get their hands on. Here's what's included. Starting off with the Resident Evil 2 Deluxe Edition, which I covered in depth in a previous video that I'll link down below. Next up is the Leon S. Kennedy RPD version figure, an expertly crafted 12-inch figure of Leon on his first day in his new RPD police uniform, recreated to mirror his in-game design down to the smallest details, a must-have for any Resident Evil fan or collector. Next up is Ben's File, an art book, a 32-page book left behind by Ben, a freelance journalist who makes an appearance in Resident Evil 2. This file contains photos and files documenting events after the Raccoon City tragedy and was filed away as a highly confidential document by the US government. It's never been seen by the public until now. Next we have a digital soundtrack voucher code for a 25-track album featuring new songs from the remake of Resident Evil 2, as well as a selection of arrangements from the original game. And lastly, we have the RPD Renovation Design Poster. A diagram reminiscent of blueprints, this poster illustrates how the building was renovated and transformed from a museum to a police facility when work was being done on the building in 1969. I'm honestly blown away by this collector's edition. As I've explained previously, the deluxe edition and all that it includes is great, but now that we got the Leon Kennedy figure in his iconic reimagined RPD uniform, it looks incredibly well detailed and it'll be perfect for any Resident Evil collector out there. I can't wait to get it on my shelf. The in-depth look at Ben's files is also great for fans of Resident Evil lore, and one of the most iconic aspects to the original Resident Evil 2 was the soundtrack. With the original composer returning to the remake, I absolutely can't wait to hear his reimagined take on what is, in my opinion, a masterpiece of a soundtrack, so it's great that we'll be getting a digital copy of that. Lastly, the RPD renovation design poster is a great look into the history of the iconic police station. As it mentioned, the police station was formerly a museum, which explains its gothic architecture and design, and is a reason why the RPD is one of the most iconic locations in gaming history. Resident Evil 7 had different variations of the Collector's Edition, so I'm very interested to see if we're going to get different versions for different countries. We'll just have to wait and see, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. Will you be pre-ordering one for yourself? What are your thoughts on what's included? Are you happy with it, or would you rather had a Claire Redfield figure instead of Leon? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and for everything on the Resident Evil 2 remake, make sure to subscribe. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon supported channel, so if you'd like to help support the channel and unlock some great perks in return, head over to patreon.com slash network. Links will be down in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.